Hi everybody, this is Lars Vemir for Nukipedia, and welcome to volume 9 of our video series, Useful Nukipedia Tools. Today's video is about the FXT Disable Nodes version 2.0 from Tor Andreasen. This is the link where you can find the FXT Disable Nodes on Nukipedia. The FXT Disable Nodes gizmo is a very useful tool that can help you to disable a custom selection of nodes in your script. That way you can disable render heavy nodes in a heartbeat and speed up your workflow in Nuke. You can disable a selection of nodes by clicking on these buttons, which will select all nodes in your script of that class type, and then click on the button called Link Selected Nodes. To disable the linked nodes, just select the Disable Nodes gizmo and press the letter D on your keyboard or disable the nodes by clicking on this button that says Enable Disable Nodes. You can also disable a custom selection of nodes in your script by first selecting a few nodes, clicking on Link Selected Nodes, and then pressing the letter D on your keyboard again or by clicking on this button. And finally, you can select any node in your Nuke script and link all nodes of that class by clicking on this button right here that says Link all nodes of the selected class, followed again by pressing D on your keyboard or by clicking on the button that says Enable Disable Nodes. If you wish to link more nodes, just keep on linking the nodes to the Disable Nodes gizmo by using any of the methods I've just demonstrated. If you want to hide these expression connections, you can do that by pressing Alt and E on your keyboard, which toggles the visibility of the expression connections off and on. The FXT Disable Nodes even lets you adjust the sample values of the scanline render nodes in your script. So if you have a few scanline render nodes in your script, you can go to the second tab, click on Store Sample Values, which will create a list of all the sample values from all your scanline render nodes in your script, and then you can set the sample values of these nodes to a low value by clicking on the Set Scanline Sample Values button. Or you can set it back to your original values by selecting Custom Samples in the drop down menu and then clicking on Set Scanline Sample Values again. If you click on this reset button, the values will go back to your stored values so you will never lose your original sample values. If you wish to delete the FXT Disable Nodes gizmo, make sure you remember to unlink all nodes first by clicking on Unlink All Nodes. Otherwise you might run into problems when rendering, since there will be expressions linked to a node that no longer exists. So play it safe and unlink your nodes before removing the FXT Disable Nodes gizmo. If you want to check out some more of Tor's tools on Wikipedia, like the FXT Relinker or the FXT Reveal in Folder, you can find them by searching for FXT in Wikipedia search field. So thanks to Tor Andreasen for sharing his tools with the Wikipedia community. Alright, that's it for this episode. If you have any tool suggestions, just send an email to admin at nukipedia.com. Again, my name is Lars Vemje. Thanks for watching and goodbye everybody.